right, it's card of the day, and this is card number 162, titled Han Solo Cornered by Greedo. Let's read more about the history of Han Solo. Han graduated at the top of his class with the rank of lieutenant. However, his hard-earned military career was short-lived. In 5 BBY, he was dispatched to aid Commander Nicholas in duties including slaving and construction work. In his capacity, Han boarded a derelict slaving craft to find that its cargo Wookiee children had escaped and that a badly wounded Wookiee was in the pilot's seat. Nicholas ordered Han to skin the helpless Chewbacca, but Han refused and Nicholas swore to punish the Corellian. Shortly afterward, Han and Chewbacca were put to work on the construction of a new wing of the Imperial Hall of Heroes and Coruscant by Wookiee slaves. An enraged Chewbacca turned to Nicholas, who drew his blaster on the Wookiee. Han refused to let Chewbacca die. He stunned his commanding officer and helped Chewbacca escape. With the assistance of the Rebel Alliance, court-martialed and dishonorably discharged, Han returned to smuggling with Chewbacca, who had sworn a life debt to the Corellian at his side. Han later reflected that even without Chewbacca, he probably would have left the Imperial Service anyway due to the ridiculous regulations, incompetent officers, and widespread anti-alien prejudice. He later became wanted for treason, with a bounty issued to his head by the Empire. Han earned both classes of the Corellian Blood Stripe at some point during his military career, though the reasons for his first class stripe are unknown. All that is known is that the events through which he earned them took place over several days. Because they were non-imperial awards, they were the sole decorations that were not stripped from his uniform after his court-martial. Alexander Badur did later inform an interviewer that Solo's second-class blood stripes came from an incident dealing with a Wookiee. Initially, Han was not happy to have the big Wookiee around. He had saved Chewbacca out of remembrance of Dulana, but it had cost him his life's dreams. Han spent much time drinking and playing Sabak until he was accused of cheating by an irritated Barabel named Shalimar. He probably would have been seriously injured if Chewbacca had not stepped in. After that, Han and Chewbacca grew much closer. Alright, that's it for now. More information on the next Han Solo card. And now for the back side of the card, and it's a puzzle piece that features Luke Skywalker. Well, that's the card of the day. Look out! for the next card. Thank you for watching Star Wars Obsessed Card of the Day. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can also follow Star Wars Obsessed on Instagram.